Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by, or welcome if you're new. Um, today I just wanted to film a little tutorial. I felt like playing with some color, so we've got some a little pop of color on the lid. Not too much. It's very me. It's just a little, a little something, something. But my earrings are what inspired my look. Um, so if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All right. We're back in my normal beauty setup. I hope my camera's focusing. I'm actually filming with my camera today instead of my phone. So, we shall see. Um, but I just felt like putting some color on my face and putting on some makeup. Um, I'm currently in the process of scrubbing off all of my fake tan, so if I look blotchy, that's why. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, I also tinted my eyebrows. My skin is stained around my eyebrows, so if they look crazy, that's why. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to prime my skin. Alright, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. I love this stuff. It's super sticky and tacky. It just helps my makeup stick. And I'm just going to put that all over my entire face, making sure I get every crevice. Then I'm going in with the Tula Brightening and Smoothing Primer. I like this specifically for my T-zone, but also all over the face. Then I'm going to take my glass palette and my two foundations. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect and the NARS Radiant Longwear, something like that. I'm going to mix those together and then place them all over my face with my e.l.f. Beauty Sponge. This is my favorite sponge from the drugstore by far. It's $5.00. Best $5 you're ever going to spend. You're not going to want to buy a $20 beauty blender ever again. And I'm just placing that all over my face, pouncing it in. You know the drill. You know how it works. Nothing new. But I'm also going to go over my eyelids. Then I'm going to go in with concealer. For concealer, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. And then I'm also going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. Um, but you're going to see I'm placing my concealer a little differently. This is a trick that if you're on TikTok, you've seen it. Um, but I really love it. You use a little bit less product and you get the same effect. It's just really brightening and it helps the structure of my face overall, I feel. Um, I am adding that L'Oreal just to give me a little bit more coverage right in that inner corner because that is where I am the darkest. So I'm going to pounce that out with my Beauty Blender and I'm going to use the residual or excess product and I'm also going to um, go over my eyelids. That's what I use as my eyeshadow primer. Alright, after I've got that all pounced in and I make sure that there are no creases, um, I'm going to go in with my loose powder. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Powder and Butter. And you can see here I'm making sure there are no creases before I go in with that powder. It's hard to see because uh, my mirror is going to be in the way here in just a minute, I think. But just pouncing that in with my Damp Beauty Blender. It's my favorite trick. It makes everything look super smooth and there's no extra or excess powder. Then I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte to set the rest of my face. Best powder ever from the drugstore. Best touch-up powder. Super affordable, super easy to find and to use. If you're dry, you don't have to set your entire face, but if you're oily like me and you're in the south and it's summer, setting your whole face is a smart choice. So after I set my entire face, even my ears and my neck, girl, everything, and make sure that there's no extra excess powder from baking with that Fenty powder, or not baking, but using my sponge to set it, I am going to go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this bronzer. This is just the regular bronzer shade because I am a little bit more fair right now. I'm going to place that where I typically place bronzer on my cheekbones or under my cheekbones, on the temples, and then up on the forehead just a little bit. And then I also will place it, you'll see me do the other side, obviously. We can't do one side and not the other. You don't want to look lopsided. But I also place it along my nose, under my lip, and then down my neck, like around my jawline, because we're trying to get rid of that uh, double chin that we want Kybella for. But we're a teacher, we have a teacher salary, and we can't afford that. So, you know. Then I go in with the Revlon Skin Lights Bronzer. I didn't show it. I don't know why, but it's a smaller brush, and I'm using this to kind of contour, but not really. Just get a little bit darker of a bronze around the perimeter of my face. 
kind of chisel it out a little bit more. Here you see me doing it on the tip of my nose. That's my easy no fuss nose contour under my lip to make my lips look fuller. And then here you see me carving out my jawline, trying to get rid of that double chin, like I said. Now I'm going in with blush. This is the Patrick Ta blush. I really do like this. I think it's very similar to the Kylie blush that I've mentioned before that I love. So obviously if you have that, just use it. And then the Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon Blush. Y'all, this is beautiful. It goes in with your bronzer so well. Then I'm using two setting sprays, one from e.l.f. and one from L.A. Girl. Spraying my face heavily because, you know, we gotta set that and forget it. After I spray it, you're gonna see me pull out my Dollar Tree fan and fan that stuff in. Alright, now that we're back, my brows are filled. I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Y'all know this is my favorite palette of all time to create this look. I'm going in first with Silk Cream and MFEO mixed together as my transition shade. And then I'm also going to use that on a smaller brush down below on my lower lash line. I go top to bottom just to help me get the shape that I'm looking for. And this, like I said, is the transition. It's the lightest shade we're going to use, but it helps everything blend out and look seamless. Then I'm going in with a smaller tapered brush and I'm going in with Pukey, which is one of my favorite shades in the palette. And I place that on the outer corner and then work that into the crease as well, just gradually getting darker and darker. If you watch any of my tutorials, then you know this is like how I do it. It's just my norm. Um, but then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and do the same thing on the lower lash line, just a little smaller and tighter than the last color. But again, just creating that shape and slowly building up color. Now I'm going in with like a MAC 217 and the shades Roxanne and Buns. And I'm placing that on the outer corner and then pulling it up into my crease. And then I'm also using that same brush to kind of blow it out on my lower lash line and just really start to create that outer V and start deepening it and give it some smokiness. You know how it is. Same thing on the other eye here in just a second. Yeah, there we go. Just again, placing it out of the, on the outer corner and then starting to pull it up into the crease and on the lower lash line just a little bit, taking my time to really get the shape that I want. Now I'm going in with that MAC 217 again and the shades Chip, Mocha, and Central Park and placing that on the outer corner and I started to use this in my crease and on the lower lash line, but I realized that it's a little too big for what I wanted on my lower lash line. So I grabbed that pencil brush again and really started using that to create the shape on the outer V and then going back in with that bigger brush, that 217, to blend it out. All right, then I grabbed my L'Oreal Infallible Ice Latte one of the shades that I use all the time for brides and I'm placing that on the inner third of my eye this is that vanilla champagne that's going to go into the blue later I'm just placing that on with my finger because it's the easiest way to do it then I'm going to go in with this Tarte Tarte Lit Chrome Paint um, it's a highlighter but I use it for my inner corner all the time and I'm just going to go ahead and do my inner corner so everything blends seamlessly then I grabbed ColourPop Flexitarian to make sure that it really popped. Then for my brow bone, I'm using the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter in Daybreak Glimmer. Y'all, this is beautiful. Now I'm grabbing the blue. And the blue is Pool Party from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And let me just say I'd never used it before, and I don't know why, because it's beautiful and it goes on so easily. I was really, really shocked. So I started out with a brush, as you'll see. To really pack that color on then I went in with the matte shades the darker matte shades to kind of blend out that edge a little bit and then I went in with the vanilla to kind of blend it into the blue just going back and forth with all the colors to make sure that they meld then I went in with my finger and pool party that blue shade to really make sure it popped and of course my camera cut out but I'm showing you the products that I use to line my lids and mascara and then I'm going to go in with these Cuckoo Magnetic Lashes. I got these from Amazon. They were super cheap. And I actually really love them. You shake the glue well, um, or not glue, magnetic liner. 
and then you literally just pop them on. You can see I struggled here with the inner corner just a little bit because they're so big and fluffy, but once you got it, they're super easy. I love how long they last, how easy they are to put on, and how dramatic they are. These are the most dramatic, fake, magnetic lashes that I've found, so I'm obsessed with them. Look at them. So fluffy. Then I'm going to highlight the rest of my face with that Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter and Daybreak Glimmer. It is totally a dupe for the Anastasia Amorese highlight that has been discontinued forever. It's stunning. I'm so glad I found it and picked it up. I was really hesitant to, but it's a favorite now. I keep it in my kit for weddings all the time because it's just so pretty. And it's a drugstore price, so you can't beat it. Then I'm going to line my lips. This is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner and Bear to Comment, but it was a little too pinky for what I was wanting, so I ended up going in with the Palladio liquid lipsticks that were in collaboration with Casey Holmes, and I went in with Rescue all over my lips, and then I went in with Georgia, which is a little bit peachy and lighter in the center, and dabbed that out. And then after all that, you can see here, I'm going to, yep, there you go, girl. We are finished, y'all. Look how pretty. I'm obsessed with that pop of blue. Like, seriously obsessed. And who is she with that pop of color on the lid? Yes. All right, guys. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Be sure to be subscribed. Like this video. Let me know what you want to see next down in the comments. More videos, more reviews, tutorials, what have you. Okay, um, just let me know and then I will have all of my social media also listed down below. Go ahead and follow me on all of that. I am a little bit more active on TikTok and Instagram, I had to think. Um, but yeah, thank you again for being here and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye guys.